Let's continue to identify key features here by jumping down to our width coefficient and then our intercepts. The nice thing about uh, finding the width coefficient, how wide it is when you start with standard form, is it is literally just a. Whatever a is, is your width coefficient. So looking down at this problem here, we said earlier that a was going to be a 1. That 1 is usually not written, but when there's nothing in front of x squared, it's going to be a 1. So 1 is our width coefficient. So that was really easy to find here. Let's go back up. The y-intercept, the place where your graph will cross the y-axis. So if you have your parabola look something like this, the y-intercept is wherever it crosses the y-axis. That's going to occur at simply c. So the width coefficient a is just a, the y-intercept is just c. So whatever that c term is. And the reason for that is if you were to plug in 0 for x, this term goes away, this term goes away, and you're left with only c. So that's why that works. Same idea down below when we get to our numbers. If you plug in 0 for x, that goes to 0. Plug in 0 for x, that goes to 0. And we're left with simply 3. So our y-intercept is going to be 3. And we can actually put that on our graph in a moment too. And then finally, our x-intercepts. There's a few ways to get x-intercepts. The uh, best way most of the time is going to be to factor it. So if you factor the problem, that's going to be the best way to get your x-intercepts most of the time. The only time you wouldn't factor uh, when the problem is unfactorable, and we'll look at how to deal with problems like that uh, coming up. So let's get specific on this one. Our x-intercepts here, if we're to factor this problem, and I'll go ahead and factor it right up on top, I'm looking for two numbers that add to negative 4, or add to positive 4, and multiply to positive 3. So my product is 3, my sum is 4. And the numbers 3 and 1 work out for that. So if I do x plus 3 and x plus 1, and I still keep it equal to 0, that would be how I factor this problem. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and this is going to work out. The x-intercepts, though, remember, if you're looking at factored form, your x-intercepts are one step away yet. Once you get your two numbers, that means you get your factored form, but your actual uh, x-intercepts are going to be the things you plug in to make it 0. So negative 3 plus 3 is 0, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So my x-intercepts are going to be negative 3, and negative 1. So let's go over to our graph and let's put these things on here. We have our x-intercepts of negative 3 and negative 1. That's where it crosses the x-axis. We also have our y-intercept of positive 3 right here. So I've already got myself 1, 2, 3, 4 points. And my graph is going to look something like this here, something like this U-shape. So let's see if we can get any more specific about that. Our width coefficient, our A value, is 1. So I know that if I'm starting here, I need to go over 1 and up 1. And in fact, I actually already have that because of my intercepts. I go backwards 1 and up 1 again because it's symmetrical. So that will work. Um, if you're looking for patterns to quickly graph these, uh, there's a few options. One would be to actually plug in values. So if you wanted a point uh, at negative 4 something, you wanted to figure out where that worked out right there, um, you would be able to plug in the x equals negative 4 into that equation. Another option, if you're looking for a little bit of a shortcut, is whenever a is equal to 1, and only when a is equal to 1, you get this nice pattern of going over 1, up 1, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 5, over 1, up 7, and you can keep doing that. But again, that only works when a is equal to 1. Otherwise, there are other patterns you can find. But you're going to want to do something like that. And so then if I were to trace my graph, it would look just like this. And you'll see how it kind of goes up faster and faster and faster at each level. So that's how we identify our key points, and then we use those key points to help us draw a nice symmetrical graph. Uh, the rest of these, you are on your own.